Now, thousands of A-level, T-level and B-Tech students in England, Wales and Northern Ireland will be receiving their grades this morning. For some, these results will determine their place at university. But new research has found that UK businesses are prioritising job candidates with skills rather than graduates with a degree. That's happening in an increasing number of cases. So is it time to stop emphasising the importance of a university education and focus on things like apprenticeships instead? Joining us now is university student Evie Crossland, who says university is a coming-of-age experience, and Kevin Osse, who says those who do apprenticeships are more skilled and focused. Uh, let's come to you first, uh, Kevin, on this. You got a degree yourself at university? Yes, yes, I, I, I do. Uh, so I was at university for five years, right. uh, from 2017 to 2022. Um, and I started off studying accounting and finance, used to want to go down the banking and finance route. Uh, a course that I didn't actually enjoy or want to actually study, but felt like I had to do to go down that industry. Yeah. Uh, ended up failing my first year of university. Then I repeated the year on the same course okay. and failed again. Right. And then when I failed the second time, uh, I changed courses to politics and international relations. But at that point, I realised that I don't actually want to go down the banker route anymore. Right. And for me, at that point, I didn't want to go to university anymore. But for me, what was driving me was making my parents proud and yeah. watching some mum and dad, I love you both. Oh. But, um, so, yeah, I uh, ended up doing politics and international relations, graduated last year with 2-1, and since then... I've been working on my charity full time, which supports. So, so yeah, so your charity mentors young people. So yeah, you're, you're, you're speaking to barriers, young yes. people all the time. But yeah. why, why is it that you say that apprenticeships give them more focus? Because I mean, so, you know, even at university, okay, you might not be out there. Some of them do actually go and do a year out. I did a year out in my uni, so you will get some experience. Yeah. But what, why would you be more focused in an apprenticeship rather than perhaps when you're at university? Yeah, I mean, so for me, right, it's not necessarily just the apprenticeship route. It's the fact that there are a load of different other avenues that young people can go down other than university. So, for example, when you leave sixth form or college, you can take a gap year, which for a lot of young people is really, really valuable. It gives them that chance to figure out what it is that they want. Everyone to do. can afford that. Though. When I think of gap year, what's, is it, you know, what, what is it like now with, you know, with young people? When I think of gap year... I mean, at my school or uni, it was it was the wealthier families that were able to go to get you know gonna, I'm going to go travelling across Europe. Oh, lovely yeah, for you, mate! I it, can't afford to do that. Yeah, but it's not necessarily taking a gap year to to travel. It's more so to get some experience, right? You know, whether that's working part time in retail or wherever it might be, taking some time to maybe invest in yourself, for example, uh, educational courses, online courses, to mm. build your skills because you know that's one thing that employers look for nowadays. I think it's clear to say that. You know, university degrees don't hold as much value as they once did. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Let's say. Well, so you're making the point there. That, you know, there are other avenues don't automatically go down that route. Evie, for you, yeah. uh, university you wanted to go to. Why do you think it is important? Well, I think I want to preface just by saying that it is not a one-size-fits-all situation. And, you know, for me personally, I knew that I didn't want to just leave sixth form and go straight into employment. I wanted to go down the academic route always. And I think that what university really offers is, even though you're pursuing an academic degree, you can still have those variety of different avenues of um, different fields. Um, for example, um, I do an English and philosophy degree, yet I'm also a part of the business and consultancy groups at my university. So it's a, a university really does offer those opportunities to also dabble in different fields. This notion that, you know, you're only pursuing your degree and that's it, I think is false. You can have those opportunities irrespective of whether I think, they're... I think that's absolutely groups. right, isn't it? Because, you know, it, it, I, I failed my first year at uni. Yeah. And what I realised is that when you go to university, you get, like, your 15 hours a week timetable. Yeah. And that's where you need to beat your lectures. Yeah. What are you going to do with the rest of your time? Yeah. And I think for my first year, like a lot of people, probably parted too much, went out yeah. too much. But then I realised, actually, I can do this. I got involved in societies. I actually started DJing. Exactly, yeah. and, and you do start to really live a life, I think, and become more of a rounded person with, with lots of experiences when really, you're there. It really is just about being proactive at university. Mm. It's about, you know, taking the ball by the horns and thinking, no, I'm not just going to pursue, you know, university just for the degree to come up with the two, one, the first, whatever. I'm going to pursue it because I want to network. It's one of the best networking places, irrespective of what university you go to. There are always going to yeah. be... I, I mean, uh, granted, you know, the Russell Groups and the Oxbridge, they will, you know those networking opportunities are going to be, you know, there in greater quantities, but nonetheless, you can still take those opportunities at university irrespective. You're in your final year, though. Going into uh, going final, final year. Going into final year. What are you doing? What are you doing? English in, 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 are you worried, though, that there's no guarantee 
of a job at the end of it? Or, do you, or, or are you confident that, you know what, yeah. I, I know exactly where I can go and where they're going to get a I'm job? you know I'm not. I'm not. There is not, there is not that... I'm never going to have that certainty of, yes, I want to pursue this and I will definitely get this. But I don't think that's what matters, because what matters is using those opportunities that, that university has to offer and using, them as, using as many as I possibly can so that, you know, I'm in the position that when I leave university, I can explore different fields or I can reject mm. a certain field because, you know, I realise that's maybe something I don't want to do. It's about gaining those skills throughout university so that you're in the position where you can choose. Mm. It's about choice when you okay. leave. Well, Kevin, from your point of view, then, when, you know, Evie's talking about it, there is almost like a transition phase, isn't it? The opportunities it gives you. It's not just about the academic side yeah, of things, but there yeah. are a lot of other things that go alongside that. Yeah. Isn't that don't you miss that if you yeah, don't so, go I mean, to university? Yeah, so, I mean, look, I think when we're talking about is university worth it, let's talk about when it comes to trying to access employment in the field you want to get into. Now, there's a stat around how 45% of young people don't feel confident entering the workforce after graduating, and around 80% of recruiters feel like recent graduates don't have the skills that they need to be able to, you know, land a role in, in their job of interest. And I think that's really important to understand that university, for many students, including myself, though I was a part of societies, they don't really teach you the skills that you need, those core employability and soft skills that employers look for. And for, for, in terms of the work that I do, working with a lot of organisations and corporates, a lot of them are now demanding for more apprentices applying for, for, for opportunities because actually mm. they're realising that degrees aren't as valuable as they once were. Mm. I, I do worry, though, you know, we were saying this off-air, that, you know, if you think about the, the you know, degrees such as, you know, medicine, a, a law degree, you know, you, you have to go to university to become a lawyer, to become a doctor, to become an engineer these days. And I worry that we might create a two-tier system here by saying, well, actually, for some of you, don't worry about going to university because we know that the wealthy of us, the, the, the middle-class families, those that our siblings have been to university, yeah. we were more likely to go to university. What we should be doing is saying exactly the opposite to everyone else who thinks that university is not for them, that we are going to help you get through university and get some of the most important jobs in this country. Yeah, but then, you know, after graduating from university, I mean, the unemployment rate amongst graduates is really, really high and it keeps progressing mm. and progressing and there's a reason behind that. You know, people are graduating and still not able to access employment. That's part of the reason why I started the work that I do. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of friends who graduated uh, and we're struggling to get jobs. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's much more than getting a degree. That's not enough. Yeah, maybe we need to look at the degrees themselves, actually, and, uh, what, what skills they're, they're getting. It's yeah. interesting, lots of people getting in touch. Paul says, I left uni with massive debts back in 2000. I enjoyed every minute, earned a great degree, made friends. The cost financially, mentally and sometimes physically was still worth it, because a lot of people who say, no, it's not worth it, are talking about the costs. And, Evie, for you, obviously, it's a significant cost, yes. isn't it? Yes. That's the issue. Yeah. But are you confident you'll be able to earn that back afterwards? Yes, I am. I, it's one of those things where that does cross my mind uh, a lot. Um, I will be left with a lot of debt at the end of this. It will. The thing is, I don't also know what salary I'll be on. That is the thing. I don't know what salary I'll be earning, mm. how much I will have to pay back. That is still so open-ended. You know, if I'm a high-income earner, you know, really, that uh, th those problems are less for me. Um, if I'm a lower-income earner, those problems also are less of a problem because I wouldn't have to pay them back, but it is going to hit those middle-income earners. You know, it's going to really be a problem for the people that are earning, okay. you know, over 25K, about 38K a year. So, yes, it is something that I do okay. consider myself okay. with, but oh, I just... Right. Yeah. know that those opportunities I must grasp. Yeah. I've got a feeling you're going to grasp them, Evie. Uh, <laughs> uh, Evie, thanks for joining us, and Kevin, thank you we, too. Uh, we yeah. were running a Twitter poll. We asked you, is university worth the cost? Let's take a look at the results. 78% of you said it is worth the cost to get into wow. the university. 22% of you said it wasn't worth it. Thanks mm. to all of you who voted. Thank you both to you thank as well. You.